guys, welcome back to my channel. So I finally got the Colourpop Nectar collection in the mail. So we are going to be doing some swatches and trying it on my face. And I also included some comparison swatches for the Peach collection. So you guys can see the differences between the two collections. My eye makeup is looking incomplete right now because I did not get the pressed powder eyeshadows from this collection as I feel like they are not really value for money. And I typically do not wear oranges or peach tone makeup. So I used some of the orangey shades that I found in this 35F palette. So I used pretty much um, this whole range of mattes over here so that I can just add on the Super Shock shadows that we are going to swatch and try on. So the first Super Shock shadow we have is called Going Rogue and it is a satin soft silvery peach. So although the website says it's a satin finish, it actually says it's a pearlized over here on the container. So it actually kind of looks metallic and very shimmery when you swatch and apply it. So I am just going to pop this in one of the inner corners of my eyes. Next we have one by one which is a satin true pastel peach and also it says it's pearlized on the container but it says it's satin on the website. So this one is more pink than going rogue which is more orange. So there is a bit of a difference but they both have a very similar finish in the sense that it is kind of metallic and shimmery. So I'm going to pop this on the other inner corner of my eye so that you can see if there is any difference. I think the difference in colour is really really subtle and you probably can't tell on camera but up close in person you might be able to point out the subtle difference in pink and peachy colours. Or if you're going to be packing it on your eyelids then you might have a more obvious difference but you don't necessarily need both of them. Next we have Flipper which is a metallic soft tangerine. So this is really really metallic and shiny so it does give that pop of dimension and colour to your eyes. So I don't really think Flipper added much colour to the eyes but it did add a ton of glitter. Right, so in case you were wondering if any of the Super Shock shadows were similar to the Peachy Keen bundle or any of the shadows in the Peachy Keen quad, then you'd be happy to know that they are not. Like they are all different in terms of colour and finish. So if you pick this quad up or if you pick any of the new Super Shock shadows, you will be getting something new. So to finish up the eyes, I'm going to be using this pure fully charged mascara powered by magnetic technology. And before moving on, I will be contouring with this pure cameo contour stick. It is a dual-ended contour foundation in the shade medium. So I did get one pressed shadow and this is in the shade Sauvage which is a dual chrome peach with a hot pink flip. So I think this is a really really pretty colour and I'm not sure if it is my skin tone or if the shadow is like that but there isn't much of a contrast between the colour and my skin so it kind of looks like it's more suitable as a blush or a highlight because the dual chrome is really really pretty and this pink shade is also very pretty. And then we have a drop of a hat which is a pearlized peach with a gold duochrome sheen and this is a super shock cheek blush. So this is also super pretty and I love the duochrome flip and it's super pigmented and creamy so I'm going to be applying it on this cheek with my fingers. So I know the blush looks really dark when you swatch it but you can go in with a very light hand to make it sheer and build it up to your liking. So the gold sheen is really really pretty as well, so you can wear this as a blush topper or as a highlight. Next we have the Knockout Palette which is the Blush Highlighter Duo Palette. And so this is the packaging and the box itself has some glossy white stripes all over like a danger sign kind of thing just that it says Colourpop. So there is a mirror inside the palette and the colours in here are, excuse my French, which is a matte soft peach blush and like to watch which is a pearlized peach with a duochrome 
gold flip highlighter. So this definitely looks very very similar to the Alexis Ren Topaz palette in pictures but in person they are completely different because the Alexis Ren Topaz palette has more brown tones to it and this one has more peachy pink tones to it. So I'm just going to use this Makeup Revolution face brush and get some of the blush in excuse my French. There is a ton of kickback so you have to be careful with that. Definitely went on with a heavy hand with that but that is for the sake of making it show on camera because it does look much darker in person than on camera. It's cute though but I probably wouldn't use it with orange eyeshadows. The blush and highlighter in this palette feel very much creamier and they apply much smoother than the Topaz palette so I think they have improved on that. So this is how it looks like when applied with a brush. The base colour is kind of sheer but you do see the golden flip to it which is really pretty and I love all things duochrome. Now we are finally at the lips stuff and so over here I have the lippy stick in Faded. This is their new creme formulas which I hate but I love this colour and maybe I should have just gotten the lippy pencil since that would be in a matte finish. And this is the only colour that I got because the other one is kind of a bit too orange. So Colourpop describes this shade faded as a rosy coral. So the reason why I do not really like the new creme formulas is because it's too thick and goopy and oily and it feels kind of heavy on the lips if you put too much. So what I did was to apply a little bit at a time and like just press my lips together to transfer the colour and do some touch-ups. So I felt that really helped and it now performs like a normal cream finish lipstick. This colour is bomb though. Next we have the Ultra Satin Lip in Lightly and this is a soft PG nude. So it's funny how Colourpop's website describes this as there's a 100% chance you will love this soft PG nude with a 30% chance that you're already wearing it right now. But truth be told, I will probably never wear this shade ever again. It's so light on my skin tone and it's washing me out right now so... So this is a really really bright neon coral so it applied a tad streaky but it's not that bad. I mean, if you look up close, you might find the light spots and patches all around but, you know, from a distance, it looks fine. Finally, we have the Ultra Matte Lip in the Twirl and this is a pinky coral. So this is a really bright pink instead of coral as described and I wouldn't really call it neon but it is super bright. I mean, it looks pretty much the same colour as my sponge which is a really bright pink. So while looking at the Colourpop website for the description of the colours, I noticed that the liquid lipsticks had very bad reviews because of how inaccurate the swatches were and how different the colours came out in person. So like, take for example, this is supposed to be a coral but it's a bright pink. So I feel the same way as well. I feel like Colourpop's website swatches are very very inaccurate and I have to scour the internet to find more accurate representations of the colours. So that is something that I feel they definitely need to work on. I mean, given that they are such a big brand right now. I really hope my colourful cheeks did not throw the lip colours off because it kind of looks scary right now having so much colour on my face. That is all I have for the Nectar phase. I will definitely be doing the pink phase as soon as it comes in my mail. Thanks for tuning in with me. I hope you enjoyed yourself and I will see you guys soon. Bye bye!